This is an HEEC TV student production, the division of the Hardin County Schools. Special thanks to our live sports coverage sponsors, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metaling Recycling, E-Town South Storage.com, West Point Bank, and E-Town Exterminating. Tune in weekly for all local HEEC TV programs airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable Channel 2 and Spectrum Channel 184. All HEEC TV programs on the HEE TV YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel today to get your local community sports and events. Watch from the sidelines, a sports show featuring our student athletes and teams. Special thanks to our HEEC TV crew provided, Isaac Mock. Tayshawn Jackson and Violet Maxheimer. We'd like to also thank NFHS, the National Federation of High School Sports, and its support in providing live streaming services. Contact NFHS.com to subscribe today. Looks like the Trojans will be kicking off. Uh, they're coming in with a record of 7 and 14. They've had a seven game losing streak. The Fort Knox Eagles are coming in at 0 and 18, and well, I think that speaks for itself. They're 0 and 18. So this is the second semifinal match, and it looks like Fort Knox has the kick instead, sorry. The winner of this match will play E-Town. All right, Garcia with the ball in the middle of the field, takes it down. Garcia's been out for, he's only played 12 games. He crosses it in the middle. And Trujillo with the ball, cleared away. Moss with it, clears it out of bounds. We have a throw in for the Eagles. Gutierrez taking that throw in. Strickland with the ball now for the Trojans, pressured. Hard to see Fort Knox, they no numbers on their shirts, but they've got them on their shorts. Okay, Garcia in a foot race. He takes the shot and it's a goal. 45 seconds into the match, Vicente Garcia notches the first goal of the night. Vicente. Vicente. Goalkeeper had no shot on that one. It was well placed up a right hand corner. Free tosses the goalkeeper, number 99. Ball played back. Trujillo steps in and passes the ball to a very offsides Garcia. Free kick for the Eagles. J.P. Stevens is the head coach for the uh, North Harden Trojans. He's in his second year. He's got an overall record of 16, 21, and two. These teams last played on September 27th, or October, no, I'm sorry, August 27th of this year, and North 1-8-0. Fritas kicks that ball out of bounds. Throw in for North Harden. Carl Stanley, it's his fourth year as the coach for Fort Knox with a record of five and 67. Crossed in. And Fritas collects it. His kick goes one bounce over midfield. Moss with the ball, plays it over to Strickland on that left sideline. Over to Mora, and he plays it away to Gutierrez, over to Torres. Trujillo trying to find Mora on that sideline, keeps it in. Mora slots Vicente Garcia, makes a move, jukes the goalie, free toss, goal. Minute and a half in, Vicente Garcia with his second goal. That was assisted by Stuart Mora. So already it's two to nothing, two and a half minutes into the match. Ego with the ball. Trujillo steps in, takes it. Makes a move down that right sideline, crosses it in. Garcia is right there. Gutierrez is clearing it out. Torres with the ball now. Goes over to James. 
Finds Valencia over to Trujillo. Bounces. Uh, bounces it out of bounds. We have a goal kick for the Eagles. Two subs already coming in for Fort Knox. Fritas getting ready to take the goal kick. Fort Knox turned over to Tristan James. Fort Knox putting on good pressure at midfield. James comes up with it. Vicente Garcia is all by himself going in one on one with Fritas, and it is already three to nothing. Goal. 36 06 mark. Garcia already with a hat trick. And we're less than four minutes into the game. I do feel bad for Fort Knox simply because. They put together these teams year in and year out, and they don't have the consistency that the other schools do. I don't want to make excuses for them either, but it's, it's tough. It's tough. And many of, their better, many of the better players that come to Fort Knox figure out who the better teams are in the district, and that's where they go. So Fort Knox, more often than not, is left with players that are mediocre at best and I'm not trying to be mean. Mora on the foul, direct free kick for Fort Knox. Looks like Gutierrez will take this kick. The right back for the Eagles. Alright. Out of bounds. Fort Knox throw in Gutierrez. Another sub for Fort Knox. And another throw in for the Eagles. Ball to the middle of the field. Strickland kicking it really to nobody. Moss has to clear it out of the box. We have a throw in deep in the corner for the Eagles. The Ayers will take the throw. Headed by Fuentes, Moss with the ball, clears it up, Harper, looks like Valencia up to Trujillo on that right side, Garcia, mm, foot race again, he was offsides, good call by the ref, I wanted to say it before I saw the flag go up, but yeah, he was offsides by little body mark, Fritas is shaken up on that, looks to be okay. Garcia was off sides. New KHSAA ruling this year states that if you have eight or more goals at any time, the game is over, except in the first half. In the first half, uh, any amount of goals can be scored. 40 minutes is played regardless. So if the score is eight or 25, that will be the end of the, the first half would be over. The game would be over. <coughs> that was changed from 10. 10 used to be the mercy rule. Strickland with the ball. Doing a lot of dribbling. Garcia pops it over to Mora. Gutierrez there giving chase. Mora over to Garcia, deflects off a of Fort Knox player. It's still live. Mora with the rebound. Gutierrez kicks the ball out of bounds. We have a Fort. We have a Trojan corner kick. Substitute coming in. Looks like Caden Thompson for Trujillo. Thompson's been out for most of the year. North had several key players injured, but he's been one of them. This is Caden Thompson. Left-footed kick. Vicente Garcia goes up for the head. Torres misses. 
We got a scrum in front of the net. Garcia or Valencia. More uh, up to Strickland on that left side. Gutierrez defending. Strickland still with the ball. Passes back to Mora. Gutierrez, oh, nope. Caden Thompson with it. Bell has it now. Off of Torres. Harper picking it up. Passing it over the top to Valencia, and that will be a goal kick for the Eagles. We have a host of Trojans coming back in. Trujillo, Gibson. And I think Williams for the Trojans in now. James steps up. Ball comes to Fuentes. So passes it back. Pops the ball into the corner. Moss clears it to midfield. And the ball goes still in. The ball is still in. Trujillo is going in one-on-one -on -one with Fritas, and he misses it. Fritas gets a hand out on it, makes the save. Well done by Fritas. Trujillo was trying to be a little bit cute on that and popped it up, and Fritas was there. Good save by the goalie. James passing it into the middle. Intercepted. Torres to Harper. Back to James. Over to Williams. Williams with a shot. Free toss. Knocks it down. Picks it up. Free toss with a kick now for Fort Knox. We are ten minutes in. The score is... North Harden 3, Eagles 0. Strickland with a throw down the sideline. Gutierrez there. Trujillo on this side as well. And we have a corner kick knocked off of the Eagles. Trojan corner kick. That was off Withrow, number 6. Caden Thompson to take this corner kick. He's left footed. It's going to be an out swinging kick. And he hits a low. Gutierrez right there. Easily plays it. Thompson racing back. We got Dunson with the ball. Taken away by Strickland. Dunson putting on good pressure. And with throw, knocks the ball out of bounds. We have a throw in for Trojans. Gibson with the throw, finds Harper. Harper crosses the ball in. That's going to go very far. Wide right and high. Goal kick for the Eagles. I used to complain about not being not wondering why the announcers couldn't see the numbers and now I'm having the same difficulty seeing some of the numbers for Fort Knox. So I apologize. Williams up the right side, nobody's really there. Kicked out of bounds by Fort Knox. Trujillo was there but didn't connect. Out of bounds. We gotta throw in north for the Trojans into Williams. And he has He's defended by several Fort Knox players. And we have another throw-in for the Trojans. James to take the throw-in. Ball is played out. Nigos, or Dunson rather. Brunson, uh, Bright Harper takes it from him. And 
Passes back to Moss. Moss, I better be careful. Pokes it up. Finds Gibson Gutierrez with the ball right now. Kicks it out of bounds. Throw in for the Trojans. Strickland taking the throw. Goes into Moss. He plays the ball up. Trujillo had it. James with it. Off of Fort Knox player. Williams with the ball going in. Flint. And just wide left. Goal kick. Eagles. <laughs> Seems to be a little bit lacking in intensity simply because North had scored those three goals in the first four minutes of the game. Both teams are a little flat. Harper with it, passes it to Thompson. Thompson back to Bell. Bell is number 18. I got to get that one. Okay, Strickland being pressured by Dunson. He pops it over. Everybody on sides. Trujillo shoots it. Great save by Fritas. Good save. Straight on shot by Trujillo. Fritas punts the ball. Bell comes down with it. Plays back to Strickland on this left side. He's looking to switch fields over to James. Torres now pops it over. Got Williams. Delgado had the ball for Fort Knox for a moment. Williams with it now. Williams on the throw. Torres with it now. Finds Harper. Cleared by Fort Knox. James back to Moss. Fort Knox is putting up a fight. They're Chasing a lot. North has them spread out, making a run. Moss clears it. And several people offsides on that. Fort Knox stepped up well to get the offsides on that one. We have a free kick for the Eagles. Ball is sent up. Looking for Delgado on that left side. Kicks it out of bounds. We have a throw in for the Trojans. Garcia has, Vicente Garcia, number 10, has come back into the game. James throws the ball in. Off of Dunson. Dunson. Kicks the ball off of Strickland. We got uh, Mark Gutierrez taking the throw. Thompson wins the ball. He is pulled down from behind by Nigo. We have a direct kick for the Trojans. <coughs> Seeing a lot of skipping the midfield here by both teams, just trying to go right over the top. There's Vicente here. Garcia makes a move, cuts it back, shoots off the post. Nice shot. Off the post. North Knox clears the ball to James on the right side. Over to Strickland. Strickland back to Moss. Lots of dribbling going on here. And that's just cleared to midfield. Strickland comes down with it. Nigo with the ball now. Or rather, yeah. Nigo with it. Bell takes it from him. Passes the ball up to Williams. And we have 
a throw in for the Trojans. Three more subs coming in for the Trojans. So Miguel Garcia comes in. Trey Mahone, number nine, comes in. He'd been injured for a good a chunk of a season. Garcia with it, heads it. Between Caden Thompson, Trey Mahone, and Miguel Garcia, or Vicente Garcia, the Trudens had been without three of those players a good chunk of the season. So it's been hard for them. They had lost seven straight games coming in. Crossed over, ball crossed back in, and Fort Knox clears it. James had crossed the ball over. Uh, Fritas got his hands on it, and then it went out of bounds. Trujillo shields. Throw and taken by the younger Garcia. Miguel Trujillo knocks the ball in. And Williams scores. Alex scores Williams. Williams got assisted by Trujillo. Yeah, the ball got popped over the top, and Fort Knox was a little bit flat footed. So at the 21 03 mark, the score is 4 to nothing in favor of the Trojans. Fort Knox plays the ball back. Fort Knox making three or four passes, putting it together for a moment. Moss pops it over off of Thompson's head. Fort Knox with the ball there. Trujillo finds he was offsides, yeah. Garcia was offsides. If the ball had squeezed through and gotten to Mahone, he would have been on. Or at least a lot more on looking than Garcia. Garcia was way off. So we have an offsides. Free kick for the Eagles. Where Knox is pulling a higher line, which is very tempting by the other team to try to hit long balls, so they're for kind of overlooking the middle part of the field. You can tend to skip that when you're in a hurry, you're trying to score. Dunson with the ball now on the right side for the Eagles. Defended by Garcia to Gutierrez. Moss knocks it out. Ball is, the, the field is wet now, so the ball is skipping and skimming along quite a bit. Fuentes with the ball now. He passes off of Dunson. We have a throw in taken by the Trojans. Miguel Garcia to Bell. Bell crosses the field. Not a he very heavy touch by James. That was dangerous. And Moss boots it out of bounds. So we have a throw in for the Eagles. And Knox gets off its first shot. Landon Harrell makes the save. Just kind of pops it down to his feet and clears it. So Knox got a shot off there. That's good. All right. Williams with the ball. Headed on by Garcia. Williams makes another move. Cro another move. And Caden Thompson comes up with it. He takes a long shot. Fritas is... Up to the task, makes the save, and he is going to kick it and clear it. And it makes it to half field. Fuentes with it. Gangster, Gangster Bloom kicks it to Williams. And Fort Knox kicks that out of bounds. We have a Trojan throw in. See you with the ball on the side. Kicked out of bounds again. We have another throw in for the Trojans. 18.07 remaining. The scores North Harden 4, Fort Knox 0. 
ball comes back to Moss at midfield. Moss is making a run through, comes all the way back. Was, I believe that was off the Fort Knox player. We have a corner kick on the right side for the Trojans. Moss made a good run up the middle. He had one defender to beat. Okay, Thompson's going to take this left-footed. This side is going to end swing. So he's going to swing it in. And that's lofted well. Off of Garcia's head, saved by Fritas. And he kicks the ball to midfield. Nobody in the vicinity for Fort Knox. And Miguel and Garcia knocks it out of bounds with nobody on him. Thrown for uh, Gutierrez will take this for Fort Knox. Over to Dunson. Gangster Bloom to Thompson or to Mahone. Dunson with the ball. Garcia picks it up. It's a battle. Dunson wins that battle. He's on to and Garcia. Yeah, Garcia fouls him. So we have a free kick for Fort Knox. Max Fuentes on the ball. There's been pretty much one shot taken by the Eagles. This might be the second. Crosses it in, headed out by Mahone. Ball over to Fuentes again. Makes a good move to get around. Crosses the ball in. Moss knocks that out. Bell is with the ball on that left sideline. And now Dunson has it. Fuentes crosses it in, gets through, and Tristan James miskicks kicks it, but Harold is right there. He's, he throws it out to Trujillo. Williams is on sides, and we've got a four on four break here. Oh, that was very, very pretty. Goal, Vicente Garcia's fourth goal on an assist from Alex Williams. That was really nice. At the 15.36 mark, the score is 5-0. 5-0. Was, that was a bang-bang. The ball was played originally by Trujillo, who found a streaking Williams, who took a couple of dribbles to his right, passed it in, and a one-touch goal by Garcia. That, that was actually pretty nice. So the score is 5-0. North Harden's winning the second 17th District quarterfinal game. The winner meets E-Town on Wednesday night at 7.30 here at John Harden. Harrell collects that, throws it out to Trey, uh, Trey Mahone, who one times it on. You got Garcia again. Again, Garcia. Oh, Fuente, or rather uh, Fritas with a kick save on that one. Garcia was looking like he was going to get another one. He already has four. Trujillo is taking this corner kick. <coughs> yeah, Vicente Garcia has played in 12 games, has 12 goals, so he's their goal scorer. He's been out for a lot. Oh, that's well taken. Uh, Bell just heads that over. Uh, was well taken by Trujillo. Found Bell who knocked it over. So we have a goal kick for the Eagles. 14 minutes left in this half. 5-0 Trojans on top. The first semifinal game at 5.30 was won by the Bulldogs over the Falcons, 2-1. to one. They will face Central Harden Bruins uh, on Wednesday night at 5.30 in the first semifinal match. Garcia with the ball on this left side, taken away by 
Fuentes. Knocks it down the sideline, Bell with it. Good pressure by Fort Knox, and we have a throw in for the Trojans. Jackson for North Harden has made his way into the lineup. Garcia throws it back. That didn't look like a good throw. They're letting it go. Moss clears it over. There's Jackson on it, his first touch of the game. Gutierrez knocks the ball up. Gangster Bloom with it. Ego and Trujillo with it. And we got Garcia in a foot race with Fritas. Fritas won that foot race. He won that one. Trujillo looking to pop it through again. Jackson heading after the ball on that sideline. And we have a, it was off Fort Knox. We have a throw in for the Trojans. James taking the throw in. Oh, the shot taken and saved by Fritas. The shot was taken by Jacobs. Number five is in the game. Zach Jacobs, number five. Fritas takes it up to midfield. James with it. Comes down to Trujillo, pops it in. We got a, basically a three on one. Jackson with it. It's defended well over in the corner by Fort Knox. And they kick it out of bounds for throwing the Trojans. James to take the throw in. Finds Garcia. Shoots the ball with his left foot. Comes back, wins it again. Knox coming at Trujillo. Back to Mahone. Back to Gangster Bloom. Back to Bell. Over to Garcia. Miguel Garcia. All right. Broken up by Nigo. Nigo. Fuentes crosses the ball in, but collected by Harrell. Harrell's going to kick this one. Garcia on to Mahone, number nine. Gutierrez defending him. Mahone taking it around the corner, and Gutierrez looks like, looks like we got a goal kick. Gutierrez was able to uh, play that off Mahone at the last moment for the goal kick. So we have a goal kick taken by Fort Knox. Bell with the ball right now. Plays back to Moss. Who punches it up to Mahone? Who finds Trujillo? He's offsides. Fort Knox is pulling a high line. Fort no and North is a little bit ambitious right now. 9.45 left in the half. Byfield is taking this kick here for Fort Knox. Free kick after the offsides. Byfield with it. Jacobs with it. Over to Trujillo. On to Jacobs. Got a lot of young guys in the game for both teams. For a lot of freshmen and sophomores out there right now. Gangster Bloom with it, knocks it through to Jackson. Jackson is on sides. He is shooting the ball wide to the left. He had probably f seven to ten more yards that he could have carried it. And he had Trujillo wide open on that left side. So the younger guy takes the longer shot. It's like 
Byfield again is going to take the kick. We got multiple soccer balls on the field. Oh goodness, that made it. Mahone uh, was able to get that. That was almost taken away. Okay, Fort Knox playing down the field to Fuentes, flying down Garcia and knocked out of bounds. It'll be a North Harden throw-in. Lots more subs coming in for the Trojans. This is an HCEC TV student production a division of the Hardin County School. Special thanks to our live sports coverage sponsors, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, E-Town Self Storage.com, West Point Bank, and E-Town Exterminating. Play is resuming. Looks like Strickland Torres back in. And Valencia, looks like three North subs have come back in. Torres with it, goes to Trujillo. Trujillo to Jackson, who's wide open. He is going in one-on-one, -on -one and the ball is collected by Fritas. Fritas flying out, kicks it, and that ball's gonna go out of bounds at midfield. Throw in for the Trojans. Comes into Jacobs. Jacobs back to Torres. Over the top to Trujillo. Trujillo, great sliding save by uh, Fritas. And the ball is not cleared by Fort Knox, and now it is. And we have a throw in for the Eagle, or for the Trojans, rather. James taking the throw in, 632 left, five to nothing. Ball comes all the way in. And we have a, looks like a handball on Fort Knox. So it'll be a penalty kick at the 619 mark. We had a handball in the box on Fort Knox. And we've got a penalty kick. And it looks like they're allowing Zach Jacobs, a freshman, to take the penalty kick. Great save by Fritas. He saves the penalty kick, pushes it out of bounds, and it is a throw in. Start, yeah. Throw in, great save, Jacobs. Kicked it pretty hard, but Fritas was up to save that. Trujillo with the ball. And he's making some pretty good moves here in the box. Lots of dribbling. Okay, Fort Knox finally clears that. Goes to Bell. Strickland with the ball now. Ball is popped over. Valencia running on, Fort Knox defending, kicking it out of bounds, throw in deep in the left, on that left side for the Trojans. More subs coming in. <coughs> Harper in for North Harden. I can't see Fort Knox's number, I'd tell you if I knew it. Numbers need to be on the jerseys not just the shorts. That's on the front. It's really difficult to tell. Ball is kicked out of bounds, thrown for the Trojans just inside midfield. Five minutes left. Five nothing Trojans over the Eagles. Trujillo knocks the ball out of bounds there. Throw in. That'll be a throw in for Fort Knox. Quick sub. Gutierrez taking this throw right now. Torres heading it out. Gutierrez again. Punched through Harper with it. He finds Jackson, who appeared to be offsides to me, but I'm not the ref, so... Fort Knox clearing this ball out, still has possession of it. 
Harper with the ball. Plays over to Jackson. Byfield with the ball. He kicks it over to that left side. Fort Knox controlling. I can't see numbers. I'd tell you who it was if I could see him. Off of Jackson's hand, but they didn't call it. He passes it over to Mahone. Okay. Harper. Fuentes, Fuentes brothers are making some moves here. Seven. Oh, great shot. That just should have gone in. Fuentes from Fuentes, and the ball went just wide. Harrell got his hand on that. Made a nice save, diving save. It was right. That, I don't know how that ball didn't go in the net. I'm not sure how that didn't go in. That was a great shot. And it went off of Fort Knox somehow, too. They were there. That, that was very well done by the two brothers there. All right. Moss with it. He's kicking it up to midfield off of the Fort Knox player. We got a throw in midfield. Trojans. Valencia with it. Byford is defending. Byfield, rather. Harper to Valencia. Ego with the ball, doing a lot of good stuff here, going down the right side. Harper takes, dispossesses him, goes to Torres. And kicked out by Fort Knox off of a fan. And we've got Strickland taking the throw for the Trojans. Over to Harper. Yeah, the Flint, okay, we got shot and a save by Fritas. That was a shot by Valencia in the box. Great save by Fritas. This game's gonna go into the second half. Torres still with it, playing with Gutierrez. A lot of manipulating over there. Torres comes up with it, and we got a corner kick for the Trojans. So far, the scoring has been four goals for Vicente Garcia. Alex Williams with a goal. Torres on the corner goes. Oh, it looked like another handball. That was a handball at the top of the box on Fort Knox. The ball is wet. The ground is wet. The ball is skimming and skipping. So we're going to have a direct kick here. And it looks like Moss and Trujillo are trying to figure out who's going to take it. Both of them are football kickers, as well as Vicente Garcia on the football team. You don't want to you don't want to kick it through the uprights. You want to kick it underneath that eight-foot post. Trujillo is going to do just that. Trujillo scores. At the 29 second mark, that was Andrew Trujillo. He has an assist and now he has a goal. And it is six to nothing, Trojans at the half. Let me go back here. Tune in weekly for all local HCEC TV programs airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cables, Channel 2 and Spectrum Channel 184. All HCEC TV programs on the HCEC TV YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel today to get your local community sports and events. Watch from the sidelines a sports show featuring our student athletes and teams. Trey Mahone with the ball on the sideline here. Ball to Fuentes. Up to... Or Nigo up to Fuentes. It's Dunson with it. Fuentes, number seven. James with it. We have no time left. And Bell with it. And that's the half. So the score, second, the second uh, quarterfinal game is six to nothing. 
North Harden on top. This is a Harden County Educational and Community Television student production. HCEC TV is a division of Harden County Schools. Live streaming, channel one programming, sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all of your telecommunication needs, featuring BART, protect what matters most. BBTEL stream, watch TV with your BBTEL app, BBTEL secure, a safe or home awaits. BBTEL Blast, make the most of your Wi Fi. Visit BBTEL.com today. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. With locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, Bardstown, Brandenburg, and South Louisville. For more information, go online at physicaltherapy.com. Etownselfstorage.com. Finally, a place conveniently located in Elizabethtown for more than just your self storage needs, featuring video surveillance, climate controlled self storage, but also storage for RVs and boats with electrical outlets in every spot to keep everything charged up and ready to go when you are. Go to etownselfstorage.com for more information. Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, a family-owned business with competitive prices, pickup service, and a friendly staff available for your recycling needs. Located off the I-65 exit 91 on 311 Steel Drive in Elizabethtown. Call 270-982-7206 to talk to someone about scrap metaling and recycling. E-Town Exterminating. E-Town Exterminating is locally owned, family-run, Pest Control Company and has been serving Hardin, Meade, Grayson, and Nelson Counties and the surrounding areas of Kentucky since 1976. Whatever your pest control issues are, termites, spiders, crickets, general pests, even moles, their team has the knowledge, skill, and training to safely and effectively eliminate the problem. Call 270-737-6900 or go online at mugabug.com. And finally, West Point Bank, a hometown banking made simple has five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Or find us online at westpointbank.com. West Point Bank, working better together. Thank you, and we will resume after this short break. Welcome to another edition of our sponsor interviews. I'm Gina Ryan, Director of Hardin County Educational and Community Television. And today we are talking to Ryan Harris. Now, Ryan is the son of Mark Harris. And tell us a little bit about your dad's uh, progression from where he started to what we have now. Uh, so he's been building in Elizabeth Town for 35 years. I think it started with custom homes, moved to spec homes. So. You know, he's built hundreds and hundreds of homes in E-Town, Vine Grove, Cecilia, surrounding areas, then moved into multifamily, and uh, now it's progressing to storage units. So, wow. you see behind So, me. tell us about this beautiful facility. I mean, yeah. it is amazing. So, it's obviously brand new. If you see the community building back here, it's one of a kind. And uh, the great thing about our storage facility is one brand new, like we already mentioned, mm -hmm. we have climate controlled and non-climate controlled units. Obviously the price is gonna vary on those, but the most important thing, 24 seven security cameras, and uh, there's a full fence around the whole thing. So security is super tight. And obviously that's a, that's a big thing when you're putting your personal items in a storage space. Now this is also for RVs and boats. Correct, too. so we have self storage and we have RV, boat, and car storage as well. Those are canopies, so completely covered. Those are inside the fence as well. We have a bunch of RVs in there now, so yeah, people are loving it. Oh, okay. It's definitely a neat place. And One thing I forgot to mention about the storage uh, that's different than a lot of places, you don't have to talk to a single person to store something here. So. We have a kiosk on the side of the building right over there, and you can go to the website, rent a storage unit or a canopy, get a code to get into the fence, and you don't ever have to talk to anybody. That's amazing. And uh, in addition to this location, you have another location too? Yes, so that is it's Black Branch Storage. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you just go to etownselfstorage.com, it's gonna bring you to this website, but we have a link to that other uh, site we have as well. Uh, but it's really easy to remember, etownselfstorage.com. The, you know, an individual might not know which unit they need. Yeah. So if they go online, are there some questions there to kind of help them? 
Well, I guess it really depends on how much stuff you have. So the <laughs> smallest unit is a five by five, and I think the largest self storage unit is a ten by thirty. And I believe the five by five is fifty five or sixty dollars a month, so mm -hmm. fairly inexpensive, all the way up to the ten by thirty, which I think is two hundred dollars a month. You have units available right now. We do, we do. They are filling up, but we have lots of units available still, just because we still open. But uh, there's new people coming every day, so. Yeah, uh, there's referrals, there's a move-in special right now. So if you do move in pretty soon, you'll get that special. That's great. And how do people find out about these storage units? Tell them selfstorage.com. I think we said it already, but super easy to remember. Uh, just go there. There will be an email, a phone number, and you can either reach out. Or once again, the great thing, you don't have to talk to a single person. I know that's how people like to shop. That's true. Nowadays, <laughs> whether it's Amazon or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. You can just go there and get your unit. Well, I'm excited for this for you. This is really amazing. That's a, it's another way of giving back to the community. And uh, Mark, your dad, and you both, you know, your stamps coming out all over the county. <laughs> yeah, you know, E-Town's growing right now, whether people like it or not. Mm -hmm. um, the infrastructure has to be met. So, you know, there's a ton of people in this community that are building the necessary things that the city needs. And, uh, you know, just thankful to be part of that. I was going to say, we got to move with the growth. That's the way we do. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you for being a sponsor also of HCEC TV. And without your sponsorship, we couldn't do live sports. So appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you much. Okay, welcome back to our second semifinal pitting the Trojans of North Harden against the Eagles of Fort Knox. We currently have the Trojans up six to zero. It's been the Vicente Garcia show so far. He's had four goals. Uh, Andrew Trujillo's had one goal, one assist. Alec Williams, one goal, one assist. And Stuart Mora with an assist so far. Lots of shots by the Trojans. Eagles got off, I think, one one or two, and one by the, um, one of the Jair Fuentes uh, had a really good shot at goal. So, all right, here we go. Second half action underway. Ball goes back to Garcia over to Gibson. And we got James on the ball in the middle over to Gibson on this right side. And we got Ethan Moss off by about five yards <laughs> he was off heads by a lot so it looks like they have moved Garcia back and they're putting Ethan Moss number seven up top he's been playing a lot of defense for them and he's typically more of an offensive player Dunson with it broken up by younger Garcia Miguel he kicks out of bounds throw in for Bifert in to Aviles in the corner with Gibson back to Dunson off of Dunson and we got a throw in for Cooper Gibson here Fuentes with the ball over to Nigo Nigo passes to the other Fuentes ball is lofted in oh what a great opportunity for the Eagles went off the post it was lofted in by Fuentes and off the post crazy stuff there Fort Knox has had two really good looks and they're pressuring very well right now Fuentes wins that one Jacobs passes to Trujillo Moss is again off by about three yards and it goes to Thompson, who's not offsides. Thompson cuts it back and kicks the ball off of the Fort Knox defender at the middle of the goal. We have Thompson taking the corner kick on this left side. This will be this will be an outswinging kick since he's left-footed. He kicks it over everybody. Miguel Garcia just pokes it in. Fort Knox can't quite clear it. 
moss with it and probably a handball is my guess or a push or something offside yeah offsides so ball goes back to the Eagles we've got a kick here by Byford Byfield my, my bad I keep saying Byfield number 13 he passes it over that was a little dangerous take. Thompson wins that and shoots it, and Freitas had to make a save, and it went off of him. That was a little bit dangerous back there between Byfield and Freitas. They got their wires crossed a little bit. Thompson stepped in, was able to take the shot. Freitas was able to make the save. Okay, Caden Thompson in the corner. This will be an in-swing corner kick. Oh, just wide to the left. Vicente Garcia off of his head. So we had a connection, but it went wide. All right, let's see what Byfield and Freitas decide to do on this goal kick. I think they're going to play it straight. Okay, Byfield plays it up the field. Dunson with the ball right now. And intercepted by the Trojans. Knocked up to Thompson, who is onside. Byfield defending. Crossed by Thompson. Byfield clearing right into his goalie, Fritas, who makes the save. That was close. Fritas kicks it up to midfield. Trujillo with it now. Fuentes, or oh, that's Nigo, I'm sorry. Goes up to Trujillo on that left side. And Ethan Moss, I guess, is on sides. He finds Caden Thompson, who was off sides. That's why he didn't even go for it. So Byfield has it. Oh, he swings and misses everything. Passes it up to Dunson, over to Gibson, back to James. Pops it through to Thompson, who is on sides. And he's going to goal. And he kicks it in. Free tosses there easily to make that save. Thompson was trying to do something cute. Oh, miss kicked. Picked up by Jacobs. Gutierrez kind of saves that one a little bit. Fuentes looking up. James heads it. Inkster Bloom with it. And Trujillo. He's offsides. Yeah, he was offsides. Trujillo hesitated, but he was off. Even with him coming back to get back on sides, he was offsides on the initial play. So no matter what. Now, if another player had scooped in and run in behind him to take it, then he would have been fine. Offsides is one of those soccer anomalies that is difficult if you don't have a clue what you're looking for. I think hockey's even more of a sport with offsides that I don't totally understand with red line, blue line, and all these other lines. But you have to be behind. Well, even me trying to explain it's difficult, so I won't even try. A shot by number seven, Max Fuentes. That ball goes over high and to the right. Harold is going to do something here with the kick. He's going to pass the ball to Vicente Garcia, number 10. He's looking up. And he passes the ball up to his brother, who's intercepted by Fuentes, looking for Nigo. Garcia intercepts. Fuentes pressuring well, out of bounds off of Garcia. We got a throw in Eagles.
to be expected. A little bit lacking in intensity right now. Eagles are down six goals. We've got eight minutes into the half, 32-minute mark. Trojan 6, Eagles 0. Gutierrez throwing the ball in. We've got a throw in. North Harden on the left side. Looks like Williams taking it. We got a ball in the field. Ball boys are a little bit ambitious. Trujillo looking up. He finds Moss, who was offsides. Yeah. He was behind the white line of defenders of Fort Knox. So when you're behind the line when the ball was played, you are offsides. You have to be in front of them. Now, if you're just faster and you're in front of that white line and you just outrun them because you're faster, then you are on sides and you're just you can go to goal. So like right now Moss is okay, Fritas comes out and puts that to rest. Thompson with the ball. He crosses the ball over to Jacobs. With row with it. Ball play by Garcia to Trujillo going down this left side. Moss again off sides. Ethan Moss has been playing defense all year and has forgotten what offsides is, I think. He's a little bit frustrated. <laughs> He's been the center back for the Trojans this year, primarily because of all the injuries and had been more of an offensive player. Now, right now, he's playing offense, but had been conditioned to be a defender most of the year so again the adjustment and Fort Knox is playing a high line trying to get the Trojans off sides they're succeeding pretty well I mean I guess sort of okay everybody ball is kicked out of bounds and we have a North Harden throw in Cooper Gibson going to take this and throws it, headed out of bounds by Fort Knox, throwing again. Cooper, Cooper Gibson, number 11. <coughs> and that'll be another North Harden throw. We're working our way down the sidelines, taking throw-ins here. And we have a bunch of subs coming in. Torres, Valencia, Harper, Gangster Balloon Williams, and Miguel Garcia, and Caden Thompson stepping out. Valencia to take the throw here on this right sideline. 6 0 North Harden. Second semifinal match of the evening. Winner plays Elizabethtown at 7.30 tomorrow, uh, Wednesday evening. The winner of the first semifinal match was the John Harden Bulldogs beating the Falcons of North Harden Classical 2-1 to one in a well-played game. Exciting game. They get the winner. The They get the number one seeded Central Harden Bruins in that first semifinal match on Wednesday. Ball is cleared up the field. Gutierrez is there. So is Trujillo. Trujillo right at Fritas, who saves it easily. Well, good save by Fritas there. Garcia putting on a little bit of a display here at the middle, heading and kicking and running. And Fuentes steals it from him. Strickland one times to Trujillo. Trujillo passes the ball to Garcia. Defended well over there in the corner. Fort Knox kicking the ball out of bounds. Throw in for the Trojans. Another wave of 
subs coming in. Looks like Mora, Bell, and Thompson are coming in. Mahone has come in as well. Bell with it. Makes a move, passes it to Mahone. Mahone to Bell. Harper passes back. Torres taking a long shot, and that goes high and wide. So we got Fritas here with the goal kick. 6 to 0 North Harden at the 26 34 minute mark of the second half. Fritas taking this. Intensity is kind of low right now. Both teams is kind of kind of going through the motions a little bit. Byfield with it. Off of Valencia. Valencia's got it. He turns on Byfield. Bell is way off sides and Valencia has to keep it. Byfield with him. Valencia still with the ball. Finds nobody. It was taken away. Well done. Torres steps in. We just have like a scrum going on. Everyone dribbles for a second, loses it. Somebody else takes it. Torres pops it over to Mora. Kicked out of bounds by the Eagles. We have a throw in for the Trojans. Bell into the corner to Valencia. And that ball goes out of bounds. We have a throw in for the Eagles. And another sub is yet to come in. Set to come in. I guess not. I guess the sub is not coming in. The sub is tying their shoe at midfield. I don't know what we're waiting on here. Oh, we had a kick. Um, Still trying to figure. Maybe that was off another offsides. Don't know. Okay, Bell in from Valencia. Bell is shooting near side, saved by Fritas. The ball is still live. Crossed over by Bell. Everybody's kind of ball watching. They look like a high kick. Torres, another monster clear. Eight feet, nine feet over the goal. Shot was there. He just didn't get over it. Ambitious. He was about 35, 40 yards out. Okay, Byfield is taking the goal kick here. Fritas is going to stay in the goal this time. Kicks it straight up the middle, right to Bell. Mora on his foot. Over to Valencia. Valencia gets by. No, he still has it. Uh, well defended by Fort Knox there. Well defended. Sent in by Torres. Fuentes with it. He looks up. Strickland there to intercept it. At midfield. Uh, again, offsides by North Harden. That's probably the ninth or tenth offsides of the night. Max Fuentes to take this kick for the Eagles off of the offsides of from North Harden. He kicks it straight up the middle. Tristan James there for North clears it out. Ball's popping around. Garcia with it. Harper comes down with it. That's a through ball to Valencia. He is on sides. Fritas is coming out and makes a nice save on the ground. Fritas with a nice save. That ball needed to be popped up in the air. Uh, even with a wet field, Fritas made a nice save on that. Valencia was coming at him pretty hard. Throwing on this left side for the Eagle, or for the Trojans. Strickland takes it. Handball. Free kick right at inside of midfield for the Trojans. <coughs> Excuse me. Torres pops it over. That's 
going to run... Well, Garcia got, his, got himself on it. And he makes a turn in the box. He still got it. And he shoots and scores. That is Vicente Garcia's fifth goal of the night at the 2209 mark. It is 7 to 0, North Harden Trojans. This is an HCEC TV student production, a division of the Hardin County Schools. Special thanks to our live sports coverage sponsors, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, E Town Self Storage. West Point Bank and E Town Exterminating. So it's 7 0 at the 2209 mark. E uh, Vicente Garcia with his fifth goal of the night. Eagles are kicking off, and Fuentes kicks it out of bounds. One more goal in this game will be over, according to the Mercy Rule. An 8 0 lead. Now, Fort Knox scores, and North Harden would have to score nine goals. Whatever the whatever the eight has to add up to eight. So at this point it would be one more goal and the game would be over. Stuart Mora with the ball in the middle. Fuentes with the ball. Harper gets it. Mora with it. And North Harden smelling blood right now like sharks in the water. Trying to end this game. Jackson coming in for the Trojans. Lencia stepping out. Trojans taking this throw in. Ball comes all the way back to midfield. Trujillo steps over it. Fuentes almost gets it, Renigo. Trujillo still with it. He finds an onside Bryson Harper, who is one-on-one, -on -one, and that is the ball game. Eight to nothing. Bryson Harper scores the game, well, the game ending goal. That was assisted from Trujillo with his second goal. So he had uh, two assists and a goal. Uh, Mora had one assist. Vicente Garcia with five goals. Alex Williams with a goal and one assist. So that ends the season for Fort Knox, 0-19. North Harden will advance to play E-Town at 7.30 on Wednesday night. Stay tuned for the announcement of the 17th District All-Tournament team for Fort Knox. Mike McCune, the John Harden Athletic Director, is out at midfield. We'll get that in a minute. This is an HCEC TV student production, a division of the Harden County School. Special thanks to our live sports coverage sponsors, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, E-Town Self-Storage.com, West Point Bank, and E-Town Exterminating. Tune in weekly for all local HCEC TV programs, airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cables Channel 2 and Spectrum Channel 184. All HCEC TV programs on the HCEC TV YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel today to get your local community sports and events. Watch from the sidelines, a sports show featuring our student athletes and teams. Special thanks to our HCEC TV crew. So number 18 for Fort Knox, Zaire Fuentes, is the all-tournament selection for Fort Knox. We would like also to thank NFHS, the National Federation of High School Sports, and its support in providing live streaming services. Contact NFHS.com to su subscribe today. And thank you for our uh, student crew, Isaac Mock, Sean Jackson, and Violet Maxheimer for their work on the cameras today. So signing off for HCEC-TV, thank you for watching. <laughs>